Today we're at 632 on Hudson, which is one of the premier wedding locations in New York City. Now when it comes to planning your wedding and coming up with the ideal cocktail, it can be a daunting experience. But today I'm going to introduce you to Yusuf Austin from Elite Elixirs, who does just that. So let's head to the bar. My name is Yusuf Austin. I started a company called Elite Elixirs and we create specialty cocktails for events. The cocktail has made a huge big comeback today. And you don't have to go and serve French champagne or sparkling wine. I think a fun way to do this is to look for cocktails and find cocktails that mix and work with your personality. So these are all fully loaded? Fully loaded, ready okay. to go. Okay, so tell me about the first one. What is this? The Conquistador is a, a champagne cocktail. Uh, it's geared toward a very confident bride. The Conquistador consists of fresh apple puree, Calvados, lemon juice, dry vermouth, a little sugar. You pour champagne on top of the mixture, you stir it, and then you strain it, and you put an edible flower as the garnish. Let's try this. You have this really elegant drink that is full of these incredible herbs and spices, not too sweet, but it has the elegance of being served in the champagne glass and the lightness of the champagne bubbles inside it as well. Tell me about the second drink. This is served in a classic martini glass. Classic martini glass. It's vodka, a passion fruit puree, cardamom, anise, simple syrup, and then we uh, dust some pink peppercorn. Taste this simple. Wow, this the anise, is amazing. The cardamom. Unbelievable. There's so many things going in my mouth right and now. And then the pink peppercorn. Yes. I think this drink would be great for the bride who knows what she wants, who's somewhat bold and happy to make a statement. This is a drink that's big and robust and full of great flavors. This is a genius drink. Thank you very much. It's very beautiful. What is this called? This is called the Emerald. The Emerald. And yes. what is in the Emerald? Uh, it's based with gin. And then you take fresh ginger, uh, kiwi chunks, you muddle, yeah. add the gin, some fresh lime, shake, strain, and we put some uh, coin-sized candy ginger on picks and uh, kiwi wheels for garnish. I love the fact that it's got the fresh ginger, which brings a hint of pepperness to it. And the kiwi food really makes for a very light, refreshing summer drink. And uh, finally, we're moving on to? So this is the drink I'm going to make for you right now. Shake it up. This is uh, called the Vietnamese Lemonade. Right. And this is a mocktail. I don't like to serve alcohol before the ceremony because it makes people feel tired. So it's much better to do a lovely, refreshing, non-alcoholic beverage. This is fresh lemon juice, water, and uh, a lemongrass simple syrup. The way that it's presented, just weeks of refreshment. I think when it comes to choosing a cocktail, find something that's not only you're going to love, but every one of your guests are going to love, because being the quintessential host, you really are hosting a party for your guests and just taste it again and again and again until you get it right. Thank you for teaching us all you've taught us today. Clearly we've learned lots there is to learn about making cocktails and how to keep your party fueled the right way. Thank you so much. Thank you, Helen.